Okay, on the last video I did, I showed you um, what my plans were here. I just want to describe or go into more depth of how the transmission worked. Um, over here on the far left side, you've got your clutch. <clears throat> the uh, the bands that I'm talking about are these these bands right here. This spring keeps them apart when you're not mashing the pedal related to the band. So when you mash the pedal, it pulls these closer together. And there's a metal drum in there. There's three separate metal drums. You can see them. That solid metal right there. That's the drum. So what it does, it works the exact opposite way of a modern car. In a modern car, you mash the clutch, it disengages the clutch. And you release it, and the uh, clutch is spinning with the transmission. Well, the, on the T model, this drum is always spinning. And there is no gear to select as far as, you know, with a hand shifter. So you're, you're shifting gears with the pedals. So what you're doing, this drum is always spinning in here. And when you mash the corresponding pedal, whether it be reverse or forward um, or brake, it clamps these uh, bands on the drum. And the bands, uh, believe it or not, are made out of metal on the outer ring but they are uh, cotton pads on all three of them so it's cotton against metal which you know grabs the metal so when you want to go forward this drum is always spinning and uh when you want to go forward you mash the clutch and you hold the you or you you hold the you don't mash the, you mash the forward gear the forward gear clamps onto the drum and that's what makes you go forward. Same thing with reverse. You take it out, you let go of the forward pedal, um, you idle the engine down and you mash the reverse, clamps down and then the car goes in reverse. Same thing, you let go of reverse, you're gonna mash the brake, you mash the brake, it clamps down and slows the transmission down. Just wanted to clarify on all that.